I said sex with confidence. Hi guys, and today we're gonna talk about sex. Let's talk about sex, baby. I don't know about you, but I know about me. And in my household, even mentioning the word sex was a taboo. The word sex never existed. It was like the minute you hear close your eyes, walk out the room. If your mum or your dad hear you mention the word sex, you just know it's game over from there. It's her rap. Many communities experience this. It's a global crisis. I personally believe talking about sex is probably one of the most important things we should do as parents. We should do, I'm not even a mum. That parents should do, just because I believe it's better to train your child at home before they go out and find out things on their own. I think when people hear about sexual health, the first thing they think about is, oh my God, is STI talk again, is this disease, is gonorrhea, it's protection and stuff like that. But sometimes sexual health is just to tell you about the benefits of sex, you know? So yeah, sex today. <laughs> Yes, we know sex is there for reproduction, but sex is more than just that. I've been doing a whole load of reading on sex recently, and I found out so many interesting facts that I thought I would share with you guys. I'm not gonna tell you to go and have sex, that is, that is on your own accord. I'm, I'm just here to relay the info may. Shit. And on that note, I'm gonna share five health benefits of sex. One, sex improves cardiovascular health. Okay, so the cardiovascular is made up of the heart, and blood vessels and it's probably the most important part of your body you cannot survive without your heart you die it keeps the blood pumping keeps you alive studies found that men who had sex more than twice a week were less likely to have a heart attack in comparison to men who had sex less than once a week men i mean two sex increases immunity there's an antibody called immunoglobin <laughs> immunoglobin a immunoglobulin a did i say right Oh good. Immunoglobulin A, also known as IgA. IgA is an antibody that pretty much fights bacteria and viruses that enter your body. Studies suggest that frequent lovemaking increases the level of this antibody, which then makes your body stronger. This antibody protects your body against infections and viruses such as, you know, your common cold or fever. Now this one I ain't surprised. Point number three, sex reduces stress. Oh yes, ladies and gentlemen. According to research, sex improves your mood. Studies also suggest that people that are regular in the bedroom are more likely to handle stress better and apparently are genuinely happier people. Interesting. Number four, when you have sex, you sleep better. You sleep better! According to research, when you make love, you're more likely to be relaxed. And when you're relaxed, you're more likely to get a good night's sleep. After getting a good night's sleep, you become more alert, more active, and ready for the next day. Five, sex increases levels of estrogen and testosterone. In men, an increase in the hormone testosterone makes them more passionate, more romantic, more sensual. But not only does it make them feel better in bed, it also improves their muscle and bone. Testosterone also keeps your heart healthy, and research has found evidence as testosterone increases cholesterol levels for. In women, studies have found that oestrogen protects women against heart disease. Those are my five facts on the benefits of sex. However, most importantly, I'm not trying to influence anyone to have sex. This is just to put out information that is beneficial, just so that when it comes to the time when you feel you're ready to have sex, you know the beneficial aspects of having sex. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If there's anything else you wanna know, inbox as per usual um slide into my dm remember healthy sex africa ensures that your sex life is a healthy life too immunoglobin a immunoglobulin a did i say right